All right, folks, here's some practice assigning oxidation numbers and naming some compounds. Um, who keeps the font big um, here? Try and straighten that out. So I thought we could practice assigning oxidation numbers as it does um, applying <clears throat> that lengthy list of rules so that we don't feel we have to consult it all the time to actually do this. And um, practice naming these some of these salts and polyatomic ions in the, in the meantime. So we'll start off with uh, this guy, KMnO4. This, you have to recognize, is a salt. And I'm underlining the K because there's my alkali metal. So this is actually a K plus ion combined with the permanganate ion. So um, now I've made a line and it looks like a negative sign, so I'm going to scratch that out. So K plus. When I have a single ion, like I do here, its oxidation number is the same as its charge. The permanganate ion, now it's easier to assign oxidation numbers to oxygen and manganese as part of this ion rather than looking at this whole thing. And you want to assign your oxygen right away, and that is a minus 2 unless it's in oxygen gas or a peroxide. So you'll see that all of these oxygens, most of them, minus 2. 4 times a minus 2 is a minus 8. Overall, I want a minus 1, so manganese must be plus 7. So um, each oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2. Manganese has minus 7, and the potassium has an oxidation number, or oxidation state, if you like, of plus 1. In the next one, I have nickel oxide, and the oxygen is minus 2 oxidation, oxidation state again. I have two of them, and, and remember the whole thing has to, the sum of the oxidation numbers has to equal the charge on my molecule or compound, which here is 0. 2 times a minus 2 is a minus 4, so this has to be a plus 4 to balance that. Now I've got this big thing over here made of potassium, and iron and the cyanide ion. So cyanide ion is Cn minus. And I've got a K plus. So if I have a K, I know it's a K plus. Um, the potassium is an alkali metal. So it's not going to make a covalent bond. It will make an ionic bond. Um, It's here to balance six cyanides. So I have iron and potassium balancing out the cyanide ions. So it's there as K plus. So if I have four uh, positive ions here, so that's a plus four ion charge. And I have a total uh, six minus ion charge. And the whole thing is neutral. I know that I'm talking then about an iron two plus. That's the only way this whole compound can go together. So now that I know what ions are in this compound, the oxidation number is the same as the charge on the metal ion. Now for the cyanide ion, nitrogen is minus 3, and you'll remember that each time you see a cyanide ion. Um, and the carbon, therefore, must be a plus 2. A minus 3 and a plus 2 will be a minus 1. So I'll let you check for yourself so that we don't take too much time with these on the video, but you can ensure that the sum equals zero for all of that. Uh, this is ammonium hydrogen phosphate. So I see a polyatomic cation in here, NH4+, and I have two of them. And I see a polyatomic anion here which is uh, minus 2. And I know that because I've got these things in a table listed. Um, hydrogen is plus 1, and 4 of them would be plus 4, which means that nitrogen minus, must be a minus 3, because a plus 4 and a minus 3 added together gives me an overall plus 1. Hydrogen is a plus 1. Oxygen is always my minus 2. I have uh, 4 times a minus 2 is a minus 8. 
and a plus 1 is a minus 7. Overall, minus 2, that means my phosphorus must be plus 5. You just balance a little bit of addition in your head. Again, I'm going to leave you to make sure that all of that goes together um, as neutral. All right. CLO minus, what is the name of that? See, you can have a ClO minus, ClO2 minus, ClO3 minus, and this is sodium uh, salt of ClO4, Cl chlorine, O4 minus. So the names of each of these ions are hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate, perchlorate. In this one, the chlorine must have a charge of plus one. In this one, chlorine must have a charge of minus four overall, minus one must be plus three. In this one, the chlorate, you see I'm increasing oxygens, so hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate, perchlorate. Oxygen is minus 2. I keep starting with oxygen. 3 times a minus 2 is a minus 6. Overall, minus 1. So this one must be plus 5. The uh, sodium is an ion, so that's plus 1. Oxygen is minus 2. 4 of them is minus 8. Overall, minus 1. So chlorine here must be plus 7. Okay. Do the check. This is also a salt. I see whenever I see an alkali metal, I know that uh, it is an alkaline metal, an alkali metal, lithium plus, and that leaves BiO3. I do this minus. I do this because it's easier to assign oxidation numbers instead of the whole thing. If it is a salt, break it into its component ions, and you have a smaller problem to address. Oxygen is minus 2, minus 6, overall minus 1. Bismuth is a plus 5. Same group as nitrogen, so um, uh, familiar oxidation number. All right. This is a magnesium salt. We have a few more examples to do, so let's keep going. Um, magnesium exists as a 2 plus ion in the alkali metal, and that means that this uh, polyatomic ion, which is not in my list, but I should be able to deduce its charge. If I have two of these, that must mean that this is a minus 4. Okay. I'm trying to think of the name. Pyrophosphate, I think, is the name. So each of the magnesium is plus 2. This oxygen is minus 2. Seven of them, so that's a minus 14. Overall, minus 4. So the two phosphorus together must be balancing a plus 10. And I'll make them both the same as at plus 5. Mercury is uh, funny because... The, um, a common mercury ion is the HG2, 2 plus, and it combines with chloride. So the chloride ion is a minus 1 oxidation number because it's the same as its charge, a monatomic ion, and each mercury is a plus 1. Okay, so each mercury is a plus 1. Ammonium nitrate. Ammonium, that's a salt, there's the cation, nitrate, and a 3 minus. Hydrogen is a plus 1, together that's plus 4, overall plus 1, so nitrogen must be what? If it's uh, 4 plus 4, overall plus 1, so it must be balanced with a minus 3, right?
Okay. Nitrate minus 2 times 3 is a minus 6. Minus 6 plus what gives me a minus 1? Plus 5. Okay. Chloride ion. It's the easiest one on here. Or maybe this is the easiest. Chlorine gas. Oxidation state of 0. There's nitrate all by itself. Oxygen is minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, overall minus 1, so nitrogen must be a plus 5. That's my nitrate ion. HNO2, you might recognize as an acid. And an acid is when a proton combines with something like HNO2 minus ion. And that's nitrite. So again, this is plus 1. Oxygen is minus 2. Times 2 is minus 4, overall minus 1. So the nitrogen in the nitrite ion is a plus 3, whereas the nitrogen in the nitrate ion was plus 5. N2O is dinitrogen oxide. Minus 2 for the oxygen again. Uh, and the whole thing is neutral, so each nitrogen must be a plus one. NH3 is ammonia gas, neutral. This must be? Must be what? H is a plus one, I have three plus three, so this must be a minus three. Mm -hmm. Carbon dioxide. Oxygen minus 2 times 2 is a minus 4, overall 0, so this must be a plus 4. And getting close to the finish, oxygen. Now, of course, those two oxygens are bonded to each other, but it's not a peroxide, it's oxygen gas, so this is 0. In this one, they are actually bonded together. This is hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. And I'll just write it down again so I can do that. And in a peroxide, the oxygen oxidation number is minus 1, and the hydrogen is plus 1. Silver, it's, um, it's, a, it's just silver metal, so this is 0, like any solid uh, metal, uh, it's a solid free atom metal. Well, mercury liquid would be 0. Um, it's called reduced silver. Uh, because the oxidation number is as reduced as, as it can be. As an ion, it would be a, a larger positive number. It could never be negative because metals don't make negative ions. They lose electrons. So we often hear that reduced reduced iron, for example, in your breakfast cereal. Um, this is silver nitrate compound. And we know that nitrate is NO3 minus, and so this must be silver plus. My transition metals can make, most of them can make more than one ion. So we take our cues from how many counter ions there are. Um, so that's a plus one oxidation number. The oxygen is a minus two times three is a minus six, overall minus one. So the nitrogen again plus five. When you do enough nitrate polyatomic ions, you know, you get to know, you get to be familiar with the oxidation number, the oxidation state of the nitrogen. Um, and that up here. H2S plus 1 and minus 2. Water, oxygen is a minus 2 and each hydrogen is a plus 1. Calcium carbonate just for a switch, we'll write it out, so you need to be able to name the ions or give the ion for the name. Calcium carbonate carbonate. Oops. Just silence the phone here, sorry about that. Goodness, everything is ringing at once. Calcium carbonate is 
Cl3 2 minus and calcium Ca2 plus. So calcium carbonate is CaCO3, oxygen minus 2, carbon in a carbonate anion. 3 times 2 is minus 6, overall minus 2, so carbon has to be a plus 4. And the last one, calcium hydride. The hydride ion is actually H minus. Yeah, not very common. And so when you hear hydride, hydrogen has um, exists as a hydride ion, a negative one ion. And calcium is always a 2 plus. Therefore, as a compound, calcium hydride is CaH2. All right. And that means that, uh, given that information, sorry, last one. This is, whoops, not a plus. Hydrogen is a minus one, and this calcium is a. plus two. And that's that. So that's a little practice on oxidation numbers. And uh, use it for your review. And I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you use that table of polyatomic ions in chapter three, not only to practice your naming, um, but use any of those polyatomic ions for practice for oxidation numbers. All right. Okay, so good luck with that.